Okay, so all right, you guys, this is Build a Thought Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a oil change. Today, I'm doing an oil change on a 1990 Chevy Luna right now. So, main things what you're doing, you're going to locate your oil filter. And I'm locating my oil filter. That would be the whole situation with the CarQuest logo on it. There you go. You see that? And then we're going to go under the vehicle. Okay, so now we under the hoopty. Alright, so we're going to slide a little bit further under the vehicle. This is the front of the vehicle. And all you're doing is looking for that drain plug. And I found it. It's right there, y'all. So I'm going to put a pan under there, a drip pan. That way when I drain that, this would be just your oil pan area. So there's the filter again. All you need is a good ratchet set or wrench and a filter wrench or a towel. If you are strong enough and can reach and squeeze it and twist, go ahead and do it with your hand. Just break it off. Either open that first or you can open the drain plug first. I'm willing to do the drain plug first. I don't want to mess with the filter first. So I'll show you guys that in a second. So... Cause I don't see, there has to be something. Okay, so I got my filter wrench right here. This is what my filter wrench looks like. And I have a towel also, just in case I just wanna try to loosen up with my hand or not. So this is what I'm using for that. And I'm gonna go back to the bottom and show you guys how you locate your drain plug again. And then I'm gonna loosen that, drain that right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to my toolbox. I went and got spray lubricant. This is basically wrenching a can. I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with wrenching a can, but it works when you have like bolts, screws and stuff like that that look like they're rusted to the body or whatever. You just wanna spray it on there, like just drench it, maybe not drench it, but like just get it wet. Get it wet enough to where it sits for like a couple minutes. Then you put your wrench or something on there and it's busted straight off. But I'm going to go under there. I'm going to find that. Find, excuse me. Got uh, out of breath a little bit. But go under there again. And we're going to just find that bolt, that drain plug, and we're going to drain it. No okay, so we're back under here. I'm just going to hit him up a little bit. Hit him a couple. A little bit. Make sure it's not bad trying to get it loose. So I'm looking at my my area under here, see if it's drenched with oil. It kind of is, it's not that bad, but I just want to pay attention to how bad it leaks to see if I need to do any work under here to, you know, just stop leaks, block them, prevent them or whatever. But all right, let me go back to my toolbox. Let this sit a little bit. Okay, so and let this lubricant set on this bolt for a little bit. And I went to working with every wrench I had in my toolbox. This is the reason why I said do this one first instead of your actual filter. Because a lot of times when you take your car to these places, they over tighten bolts. And you're stuck with the headache of trying to figure out how to break them loose, trying to get them off or whether they're stripped or not. So this is a tool that I picked up a while ago because I got very lazy with trying to reach for everything that a person did or if they stripped it or whatever they did. It's just a ratchet set attachment that is multi-surface that you'd call it. Like I'll put it on here and basically all I'm doing is placing it on there. It could be unleveled. All I gotta do is make sure it catches it. You know what I mean? It's on there. Just make sure it catches it. I can twist it off there. So I'm about to do that now. Okay, so now we're draining. I'm gonna let that drain for a little bit. Okay, 